Let's play some more of the new Peglin update uh, that just came out, the experimental branch for Peglin. There's, there's all kinds of new relics and orbs and content in the game. Start each battle with a Mew Circle, pretty good. After you are attacked, the attacker receives damage equal to your remaining ball work. Haven't really figured out how to make a ball work run work, um, but let's try it, okay? After you are attacked, the attacker receives damage equal to my remaining ball work. Obviously, we don't have any ball work right now, um, but we, we have something, look, we got something to, to build around now, which is uh, ball work. <laughs> Still don't fully understand what it is, but that's, that's neither here nor there. I can, we can learn. We can learn together. It's gonna be an incredible experience, you, me, and the game today. So send it. Let, that was horrible. I genuinely hate you. It was a war crime that that went that bad. But it was a, a fantastic scenario that this one went this good. Holy lordy, man. You love to see it. Big bomb, huge hit. And then you just need a, a small little smack and life is good to go. You can farm a little bit of money here if you'd like. And that's that's kind of exactly what happened. It's what the, dude, that was a good amount of cash from that. Let's chill. Uh, I want to I wanna save my money for, for some orbs that we know we're going to want in the future. Uh, and let's prioritize going... Let's prioritize... I mean, dude, two free relics? But let's go left and then work our way back right, okay? I probably could have fought this guy to stay on, on right path. I suppose we'll figure out whether or not that was a mistake um, as we go into to this fight here. But so far this fight, I mean, this, this is a pretty easy one. We'll see if I can make it out of the first floor today, which granted was a little bit of a, a concern for me. On the... Wow, you slipped right through there, man. An incredible, incredible display of... Uh, of ball slipperiness, which is something that I wish that I now did not say, uh, but alas, I did. Let's let's get you right here. I'd love for you to to hit me with a, a refresh or a crit. Neither of those two things happened. How about the refresh right here? You've gone on the wrong side of the grid, my guy. 22 is not going to get us there. You're going to come up right next to me, hit you with a crit, hit you with the refresh. Okay, I think that we can still make this happen. You really needed to hit that refresh. 42 ain't gonna do it, so I take so I take two damage. You know what? Two damage in this economy is nothing, okay? Three damage in this economy, still gonna argue that it's probably nothing, okay? We'll, we'll get a good heal in the future. What are you? Grants a spinness after attacking. Grants all orbs plus crit. Interesting. Um, grants ball work every eight pegs hit. Okay, you you need to be added. Uh, and I'm gonna argue that you probably need to just get upgraded immediately, and possibly get upgraded again. So so now we have the the ball work nonsense we need. Obviously, we're going to have to scale it even higher if we want to uh, if we want to make it into something that does a lot more. But I think that this is a, a very good start to possibly being uh, a funky little ballwarky and run. So every six pegs, you're gonna generate ballwork. So let's see that happen. So yeah, I now have one ballwork. It's only one, huh? <laughs> that seems seems not great. After you are attacked, the attacker receives damage equal to your remaining ballwork. So right now. I'm just, dude, you need to get a frick load of ball work for this to do anything. How in the hell are we ever getting enough ball work? <laughs> am I, am I crazy? This seems, this seems impossible. I'm willing to, to see what happens, but my guy, I feel like I need to, to get a frick ton of ball work. Like, I thought it was every six pegs hit we, we get one. I don't think it's every six pegs hit we get one, man. Okay, what are you? Grants ball work every five? Look, like, it's fine, but it does no damage. 
This is just the worst version of the buckle orb. Okay, I, I have to try though. I have to try. This is this is my life now. I I am oh please. I oh please. Oh what's your problem? Okay, that's fine. Go, please. So go, thanks. Um we're we're gonna we're gonna ball work. We're gonna ball work and you're gonna like it. What do you got? Um enemies don't get an extra turn for your first reload. All attacks get plus one. It's a necessity to get a little bit of damage into this bit of nonsense that we are running right now. Give me more stuff. Uh, an obelisk? No, I will force a stone in. I, I would love to, to not get all of the nonsense that, that you present. And I'd like to get your, your next little bit of loot. We're just stacking the run with all kinds of stuff. Every reload, two Mew Circle. Okay. I'm thinning the deck too, so it's it. All I see is is Balwarkian nonsense. Okay, all attacks get plus plus one on that side. Okay, you know what? Together we got we got the keys to the kingdom. Let's go to the right again, uh, and my goal is to fight to fight the mini boss right here and and get some stuff flowing. Whenever the Brassicakeyeye, what the frick? Whenever the board is refreshed, gain a Mew Circle. Okay. This is a, a Mew Circle build disguised as a uh, disguised as a Ballwark build. A little bit of a, a two-ton combo. Let, let's see if we can make something happen with it. So, you're going crazy. This is, this is the Protect Orb, by the way. So he's going to actually give me a whole four Ballwark. That then immediately goes away because it's ass. <laughs> it's straight up booty. Okay. Um, genuinely, possibly the worst item I've ever seen. I don't know why I expected it to be good. It's horrible, man. I mean, it is It is legitimately straight up disgusting. Uh, in, insane, insanely bad. Just insanely bad. Okay. Um... It, like, four damage? You do four damage to my attacker. <laughs> it's insanity. It's absolutely insanity. On the bright side, the damn Mew Circle that's flowing out right now. You don't do any damage. What am I talking about? The the Mew Circle is, is crazy. Like, we're, we're just stacking that son of a gun. Like, it's my job right now. After you are attacked, the attacker receives damage equal to your ball arc. Ball arc. I don't know, dude. This is an insane uh, trinket, man. I don't know why I didn't freak out more about that. I just don't get it, to be honest with you. I just don't get it. The the ball arc just seems bad to me. It just seems horrible. I, I, maybe maybe I'm missing something, but. Y'all are gonna have to enlighten me if, if Ballwark is secretly the, the meta in this game. Grant some Mew Circle when fired. We can continue to build this insanity. Um, I do think that something like the Jack Orb Lantern probably goes pretty hard. Um, but I think that it goes pretty hard always. I'm gonna just chill right now. Um, Grant's Ballwark every four pegs hit. Okay, just like, try me. Okay, every three pegs hit. What are you? Whenever I defeat a non-minion enemy, gain a max health. Every shot is a crit fired below 30%. Extra damage the longer your orbs are in flight. Okay, give me, give me this. Even though I think that I probably just like it because the color is pretty. Um, and it's not actually very good. But that's fine. Oh, whatever. You hit me. Okay. Go that way. A lot of a lot of nice sound effects in that room. I don't know, man. I do think that for what it's worth, this run is better than any of the ones we did in the last episode. I just think that this run is still it's got a fundamental flaw where what we're building around is still not very good. That that's my issue. So this is the one that does no damage. So realistically, I'd like to just have you hit. I mean, you didn't hit that many pegs right there, so I gained two. Two singular Balwarkies. Okay. I'm glad that they didn't fix the bug where if you're trying to aim up here, you'd start clicking enemies and then you you lose. Okay. 
It's fine. I have one singular ball work. So does the ball work go away each time? Maybe that's the part that's kind of ass about it. Yeah, it's like every time they hit me, it goes away. But I suppose it, it needs to... I don't know. Uh, it, it's, it's bad. <laughs> it's not good. Maybe I'll reach a point on this run where I go, oh frick, it's crazy. But right now, we ain't there. What are you, the Nosforbatu? New, new icon for you? Do I want to upgrade something? Not really. I'd like to just chill right now. I'd like to just chill. I'm going to be a little freak who continues to just go for question marks, hoping that eventually they give me a, a sweet piece of lovin' that I, I won't understand. Clearing that is unusually slimy. Okay. What do I want to, to sink into the slimy abyss? I can let my dag orb slink. Sink? Spink? Spink? It's fine. Just go down. We're good. Find the forge hot and ready. My little peglin hands aren't ready for it. I'll take the special relic. Whenever an orb is added to my deck, upgrade it and lose 4 HP. I think that's banging. I think that that is a banging event that I have never seen before and I love it with every bone of my being. So now we go crazy. I do firmly believe that this, this build now has something interesting going on. And that interesting thing is basically that the deck is so thin that all of a sudden I, I have some potential here to get the Mew Circle flowing to an insane degree. Like the stone is now a, a four or five. Every time we, we reload, it's getting even stronger. It's an 108 play. I'm gonna kill the tree, man. I think this tree is freaking dead. Which is, is great news for me, because killing a tree is a lot of fun. Um, let's let's do this. Buckle Orb is, is still... That was not a good play, but I love the refresh. The, the refresh is good stuff there. You've hit me. I don't care. This is where you now hopefully can hit more than nothing. It's still only five, man. And I get that it's blocking a little bit of damage, okay? But it's, it's still... I just am, am struggling with... I don't... <laughs> I don't think it's that good. I don't think it's that good. Okay. Your time to shine, my guy. I got four. But let's try to get into the... The plays a little bit sooner here. A 90 to him is pretty good. Look, you're, you're not dying in this fight. I know it may look like you're 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 taking some damage, dude. We're up to 14 damage on the stone. Don't hit the crit. It doesn't really matter because these guys are all here. Um, this is now a, a 12, but you don't take damage. I would like you to hit that though. Okay, very good. So 221 is not gonna do any damage. <laughs> it's just just big sad to be honest. And then this is a a 16. Don't hit the crit. Ow! I hate you. Okay, 105, you're dead. Eh, dude, I mean, all in all, it went pretty good. Applies Belushian 2. Each turn, enemies with Belushian lose 10 HP for each Belushian. Um, I think this goes crazy. I think it's insane. Um, but it doesn't fit in my nonsense. So... I know I have a thin deck. I should probably run this into the ground. I'm going to be a freak and not do it. All orbs get morbid, but boards contain one less refresh. No, we don't want that. All orbs get plus two, but boards contain one less exclamation. It's brilliant. It's fantastic. It's amazing. Yeah, I think it's, it, I think it's perfect. This is exactly what we want. It's a Mew Circle build. We don't want crits. I mean, we actively want to avoid them. Yo, Castle got a glow up, man. Look at it, look at this. It looks incredible. I enjoyed that a lot. And I think this is a new fight that I've never seen before. So that's even more exciting. Okay, get get through your deck as quickly as possible. I'm trying to, to get some nice sliding going, man. We're we're not it's not perfect. <laughs> it's not perfect. Um hit me with the, the refresh. Okay, this, so far, this is going, uh, this is going horrible. 
going absolutely horrible. Four, four ball work. I just want, I'm just here to tell you that four ball work means close to nothing to me. But what we are doing is we are getting a lot of damage hooked up for, for when I eventually decide that it's time to hit these enemies, which theoretically should be yesterday. So go ahead, come in here. You're gonna hit some bombs, that's, that's fine. Crack some of these shields, I'm okay with it. Okay, you are now hitting me. We don't wanna hit crits, what are you doing, Tyler? Like, obviously hitting crits is kinda cringe. Come over here, a 50 damage to you. Not gonna be enough to do jack and diddly squat. Do it again, please. Okay. 50 damage is at least going to protect you from, from dying on this turn. Okay. You're you're at an you're at an 8-1 right now, by the way. That did no damage for the record. You're at a you're at a 12-1. It really is pretty wacky how how fast this is scaling right now. This is the the grants no damage, but you know what? We're we're hitting a lot of pegs with that. And every three you go kind of crazy. So now I didn't take damage there. Which I think is is very good for me. Um and you're you're probably dead. Nope, just your shield's dead. Now you've broken my shield. I don't care. I come over here, I'm hitting for for 16 a pop. Dude, it just scales to an insane degree. We do not want any of this. I'm continuing my my campaign through society. We're going to go to the shop in the hopes of gaining some kind of Balwarkian synergy. What do you got? What is this? Apply Bolution and attack all enemies? That seems extremely strong. I think the Bolution is, is pretty insane. Um, refresh the board on every reload. That's also absolutely insane. Um, starting with Mew Circle, absolutely insane. Healing 2 every time the board is refreshed, absolutely insane. Yeah, those were those were three essential relics for, for what we're doing. I would argue that this is going to be in that, like, borderline broken camp. We, we have just just perfect synergies right now, um, and I'm, I'm happy to admit it. So, all you gotta do is get, get immediately flowing. That was very bad. <laughs> I was gonna say get immediately flowing with, with refreshes, reloads. That's good. Just going to scale your Mew Circle higher and higher and higher. You're already at a nice little, uh, nice little 9-5 on this guy. Which is very good. The refresh makes that even more. You're hitting for, uh, I mean, you're hitting for a Frick load. I am also, that didn't do any damage. It just took out the shield. Oh, Frick. Okay. There's the reload. Even more damage. You need to hit some bombs, man. I mean, it's it's a uh, it's a necessity. You gotta hit some bombs. This is the protect orb. We can do the protect orb, um, especially when the protect orb hits two bombs. That that makes our life very easy. Okay. I mean, I I didn't love that. Okay. Things are fine. Things are they're more than fine. 195. You're dead. I get a little bit of heal off of that as well. It's still, dude. It's a little spicy. It's a little spicy, but we're. We're here, thanks for the reload, 300. If we can just stay alive, man, eventually I can kill anything. It's just a matter of staying alive long enough to get to the point where I kill everything. We, we scale ungodly fast. I could be upgrading um, these, these dang stones. I, I don't see a reason to right now. I think in an ideal world, we're, we're removing the stones from the deck. So, good good reload. Thanks for the bomb. Thanks for, for all of this. That went completely fine. I do think that this fight is probably going to be simplistic for me. I also think that we are going to get a ton of ball work on us. Because it's just going to continue to scale over and over and over. So by the time he reaches me, which I do think he maybe insta-kills me. Um, we have to, we have to probably be good by the time we get there, but I, I'm struggling to think that we are probably going to do enough damage here. No, I didn't want you to hit the crit, my guy. 
I feel like we're going to eventually do enough damage that this won't be a problem. You're in 11-7. Okay. 176 on each turn. Dude, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Send, send this out there. I think the fact that that's not doing any damage is probably a bit of a, a flaw for me right now. But, once again, you're, you're now at 14. That's a 350 play. I mean, he is getting very close, okay. We can't see how much you attack for. Um, dump him into there. I know this is our protect orb. How much are you hitting for? Uh, enough that I'm taking a bunch of damage. Okay. Send send you into here. This needs to be your, your extremely big turn. That was not that big. Okay, I'm, I'm taking some damage. I'm taking some damage. Slip you into to here. You, you need to hit a refresh. You did not hit the refresh. Don't hit the crit. You little dummy. Okay. No! <laughs> Why? Dude, they made the game harder. It's so much harder now. I don't... I, I can't compete. The Mew Circle build, it was going so hard. I mean, it was a Bulwark build. Yeah, this, this probably would have gone a lot better if I didn't build the entire thing into Bulwark when I had such an insane Mew Circle synergy. Yeah, that's fair. Or Muscle Circle, whatever it is. Um... That's a tough one. That's a tough one, but it was a fun one. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, as always, liking the video, much appreciated. We'll, we'll come back strong at some point in the future and try out some more, uh, more wacky Peglin builds. See you guys in the next one. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.